Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Ali Beshkirk. I'm a professor at Southern Methodist University in Dallas, Texas. And it's been brought to my attention that students are having difficulties understanding how to do interpolation in thermodynamics uh, from the thermal tables. And especially, uh, double interpolation seems to be uh, a problem. Uh, the purpose of this uh, small video is going to be uh, giving you an example problem and uh, tell you about the logics behind uh, single and double interpolation. Uh, so I basically replicated here a superheated water table and uh, the pressure uh, and temperature values and all thermodynamic variables are given here. And our challenge is to find uh, the enthalpy at 19.3 megapascals and 540 degrees Celsius. Before I go for further on this, I would like to talk very briefly about the basic concept of linear interpolation. It is uh, actually rather uh, simple, uh, like a um, similar triangles problem. So in other words, let's assume um, we have an xy plane here. This is y and this is x. So we are given a value of x1 here, and we have a value of x2, all right? And let's assume that uh, there is some sort of a variation here. So the property basically changes from here to here. And for every x value, there's going to be a corresponding y value. Let's actually write this as um, y1, and here is y2. Obviously, you may see that the property may be changing linearly in between these two points. And we would like to figure out a property at the desired value. Let's actually say that x sub d, the desired value. If we would be able to then, uh, you know, go up in this way and be able to find the desired value of y. So y sub d is the desired value. You may actually see this as uh, basically similar triangles problem. After all, this is basically the triangle that we will form. And let's actually make these lines a little bit better to see what I'm doing. So what we're going to do here is uh, write an estimate uh, for yd by assuming that the property is varying linearly in between these points one and two. So if you would like to look into the similar triangles issues, uh, first of all, um, this distance here is going to be y2 minus y1. And this distance here is going to be an x2 minus x1. That together gives the slope of that line. So let's write it as y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 is equal to now, because of the similar triangles, let's try to actually figure out our desired value. So yd is here, which I'm looking for, minus, of course, um, let's actually go green, uh, minus y1. See, it didn't change. And what is going to change here is that xd minus x1. So this is the uh, basic idea of the uh, interpolation scheme that we will use. And even if you switch the locations of one and two, uh, you will still get the correct answer as long as you are consistent on changing the indices. You could write this basically left-hand side being y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus x2, and so on. So the key thing is we would like to use this. This is the basic interpolation formula. So, uh, so basic interpolation, interpolation formula. So let's look into our problem now. We're interested in finding the value of the enthalpy at a pressure of 19.3 megapascals and temperature of 540 degrees Celsius. So let's go ahead and try to look into uh, these tables. And uh, obviously the pressure that we're looking for is going to be in between, uh, in between uh, this table here and this table here. All right. So I am in between these pressures closer to the one on the right. So the pressure should be 19.3 megapascals. 
And then I realized that the temperature tables are giving me a very bad um, experience here because the temperature goes from 500 degrees to 550 degrees Celsius. And I'm interested in 540. In other words, I'm in between, I'm in between these two temperature zones. So this is why I need to do double interpolation because I do not know my pressure here uh, because 19.3 is not given and neither is the temperature is given. So the best way to handle these interpolations is to divide the problems into two separate interpolations to begin with. Because the temperature tables are nice and easy looking, I would like us to basically do a temperature interpolation um, in between this value, these two values. To, to get basically the value at 540 degrees Celsius at 17.5 megapascals. Then I'm going to actually go ahead and do this interpolation here, which is going to give me at 500 and, um, okay, so my eyes have played me a, <laughs> okay. So I meant to say actually at 540, so this is where we are. And I apologize for that. And for the other table, this is where we are, right? Because 540 is in between. So we are going to actually do two separate interpolations in the blue box and the green box uh, to find the values of enthalpy at 540 um, degrees Celsius. So let's actually start doing that. So the first thing we'll do is the blue box, which is at 17.5 megapascals. So at 17.5 megapascals, I'm going to actually say that T1 is uh, 500 degrees Celsius and T2 is 550 degrees Celsius. H1 that I will use here is going to be 3276.7 kilojoules per kilogram while H2 is 3,423.6 kilojoules per kilogram. So I have these two values and I would like to figure out the, the enthalpy value at the desired temperature of 540 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to say the desired value one. So in order to solve this, let's actually write our uh, formula up here on the left-hand side, that's in a green box. So we will first have um, 3,423.6 minus 3276.1, seven, sorry. And let's actually get the x2 minus xy value over here, which is, of course, 550 minus 500. Units are not important here because they're, we're doing a ratio. So the right-hand side is going to be the desired value that I'm looking for, hd1, minus uh, the uh, h1, which is 3276.7, divide that by... Now the desired temperature is 540 minus 500. If you solve for this, HD1 value is going to become 3394.2 kilojoules per kilogram. So let's make sure, make sure that it is in between uh, the values in our blue box. If you look up here, uh, the, the, the 500 degrees is 3276. 550 is 3423, so that we are in between, so probably we did this right. So this is at 14.5 uh, megapascal, and let's do the same thing now at 20 megapascal, which is the green box that we have. So let's go ahead and write this at, um, with green, at 20 megapascal, we're going to have basically, again, T1 is going to be equal to 500 degrees Celsius. T2 is going to be equal to uh, 550 degrees Celsius. And we will be interested in the desired temperature 
at 540 degrees Celsius. The enthalpy values directly from this uh, green box is going to be H1. Sorry, it just jumped on me. H1 is equal to 3241.2 kilojoules per kilogram. And H2 is going to be 3396.2 kilojoules per kilogram. And we would like to find the desired enthalpy at 509 degrees Celsius, but at 20 megapascals. This is HD sub 2. So in order to find that, I write the following ratio, 3396.2 minus 3241.2 divided by 550 minus 500. That is the temperature difference of T2 minus T1. It has to be equal to HD2 minus 3241.2 divided by 540 minus 500. Again, 540 down here is nothing but the desired temperature. If you did that operation, you would find HD2 at 3365.2 um, kilojoules per kilogram. So, basically, ladies and gentlemen, we have really found some values, some values, let me actually use black here, some values in between this guy and in between that guy. Now, it is important that we do an interpolation between these two pressures, all right? So that is the last step that we need to do. And now we have, uh, let's actually switch that to, to black. Now we have, we have uh, data at 540 degrees Celsius. Uh, at T is equal to um, basically 20 megapascal, as well as P is equal to 17 and a half megapascals. So let's actually do an interpolation now in between these pressures to really give us the pressure of 19.3 megapascals. So let's rewrite this whole thing in the following form. I'm going to have basically a P1 value, oops, let's go P1 value, is equal to 17.5 megapascals. And at that pressure, the enthalpy I find is HD sub one, which was 3349.2 kilojoules per kilogram. And P2 is 20 megapascals. And the enthalpy I have is HD sub 2, which is 3365.2 kilojoules per kilogram. So we have these values. And now we're going to look into the pressure. And our desired pressure here is uh, basically 19.3 megapascals. And we would like to find H desired at that condition. So now, Let's write the following interpolation. Again, the same formula, which is on the top left of the screen in green box have to be applied. But this time, our X is the pressures and the Y's are still the enthalpies. So what we will do here is write the following ratio, 3365.2 minus 3349.2 and divide that with the pressure difference, 20 megapascals minus 17 and a half megapascals, which has to be equal to our desired value, minus 3349.2. And now the pressure is 19.3, that's our desired pressure, minus the lower pressure is 17 and a half. If you solve for this, the desired enthalpy is going to be 3360. 0.7 uh, kilojoules per kilogram. Now, as you can see, just one value to start our problem, because this was, uh, for example, uh, the <coughs> enthalpy uh, coming into a turbine at a given conditions. Unfortunately, if you do not use um, any thermodynamic tables in an electronic media like 
engineering equation solver or something, you have to go uh, through this um, you know, procedure quite a bit in order to figure out all the uh, values uh, in between these tables. It is uh, quite cumbersome, but it's just algebra, and uh, I totally suggest you to be patient uh, about it and continue on. Um, and um, often when you find the enthalpy value, you may also find a reason to find the entropy in case there are isentropic expansions through a turbine or something. Um, so basically it requires a lot of number crunching. Nevertheless, I truly hope that uh, this small uh, demo will uh, show you how to do double interpolation. And, um, you know, and I hope I got my numbers right. Actually looking at it, um, if I would like to know that at 17 and a half megapascal, the enthalpy is 33.49, and the higher enthalpy at 20 megapascals is 33.65, I'm very close to it at 19.3 megapascals. So it just makes sense. So, well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope all you enjoyed this discussion, and uh, hopefully everything goes well for you in thermodynamics. And that's it.